Hey, I'm Jim Kimball, editor of CordCuttingReport.com. Let's talk about Chromecast HD. I spent a few weeks testing out a unit and I plugged one into the 15 year old TV out in my garage and I wanna talk about how it worked. The Chromecast HD is made for refreshing an older HD television by giving it a new and much faster operating system. It includes a universal remote that controls TV power and volume, and you can cast apps, photos, and videos from a smartphone or tablet. The picture resolution tops out at 1080p, but it also supports HDR and HDR10. So if you subscribe to a streaming service that already supports high dynamic range, you're going to notice greater color depth than a typical 1080p picture. The Chromecast plugs into the HDMI port on the back of your television. It's powered by a USB-C cable and a power adapter. The operating system on this is Android OS 12. That means you're basically getting the same software and menus that you would get on a newer television that's running Google TV. Google TV is one of my favorite operating systems because it aggregates and makes recommendations from all of my streaming services, both the free ones that I watch and my subscriptions. And it pulls in my live TV services, such as YouTube TV and Philo under the live tab. You can build a watch list of favorite movies that are on streaming services and your rental choices. So you can quickly jump into something that you wanna watch. So the 2007 Samsung TV in my garage is not a smart TV. Back in 2007, it was still pretty common for you to be able to buy non-smart TVs with very primitive software compared to today. So as you can imagine, the software is pretty old and it hasn't gotten an update in a very long time. When I plugged the Chromecast into the TV, the setup process was very simple. I used the Google Home app on my smartphone to go through the setup process because it streamlines it, makes it a lot faster. If you don't wanna use the Google Home app, you can just use your remote control to set up the Chromecast and sync it with your TV controls. The Chromecast remote paired with my old TV really quickly just by going through a few audio and power tests to sync the make and model of my TV to the Chromecast. All the buttons work really well with my old TV, including power, volume control, and the mute button. In terms of user experience, the Chromecast HD on my old television works just as well as my year-old TV upstairs that also runs on Google TV. So if you have an older television that still gets you a really good picture and you still want to use it somewhere in your house, the Chromecast is an easy, inexpensive upgrade. This is something I would recommend using on an older smart TV, a non-smart TV, or even if you have a monitor around the house that you want to have some TV functionality with, the Chromecast HD should work with all your monitors as well. There's no question that the Chromecast is going to be much faster than some dated smart TV software, and it's definitely going to be a big improvement for non-smart TVs that could use a refresh. Much thanks to Google for sending along this Chromecast for me to test out. I'll be mailing this unit back to them once I'm finished with it. If you want to read more about the Chromecast HD and some speed tests that I did with it, comparing it to other streaming devices I had around the house, you can head over to cordcuttingreport.com and look for it under the review section. Please consider liking and subscribing to this video if you're not already a regular viewer. And let me know in the comments below how your streaming setup is going. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.